Hey everybody, welcome to Saturday's at home workout what workout of the day presented to you by Progression Fitness. Coach Nick here to take you through the day. Let's get this weekend started out right. Here we go. First things first, let's go ahead, let's start with some news and updates as far as the at-home workouts go. Starting Monday next week, we're just gonna be going to one at-home workout of the day, uh, just since we've started to open up so much and most of the membership is back, we're gonna move it to one at-home workout that's probably a little bit more applicable to what you still have at home. Also, it could be a good option for days that you can't make it into the gym. So keep checking these. They're a great resource for some functional at-home fitness. They won't be going away. Uh, I will be taking Sunday though to work on next week. So we won't have a Sunday at home video. Uh, apologies in advance. But Sunday, take it to either do what's on Sugar Wad or plan to get outside for at least an hour or more walk or hike. Okay, let's do that this Sunday instead. Okay, uh, next week though, you will can see these videos coming back. Uh, in your email, so keep checking it for at-home workouts. All right, thank you so much for understanding. Let's get into the rest of our workout video. Let's go ahead, let's start our warm-up. First things first, as always, let's get outside for 15 minutes of any kind of cardio, power walk, walk, jog, bike, you name it. Just get moving and start to get your body temperature up. After that, I'm gonna have you go through the following movements for four to five rounds or until you feel warm. 20 mountain climbers. You're just gonna get a high plank position. You're just gonna move each knee up towards your elbow. Try to keep your arms locked out, your back flat, your core braced. After that, you're gonna do five on the left, five on the right, suitcase deadlift. It's just with the kettlebells off to the side of your leg. I'm still doing a hinge forward. You're not rounding your back, you're hinging or bending at the hips with a light squat to get the weight down to the floor at the bottom, but it's mostly a hinge. Okay, when I say hinge, that means you're bending over like you're touching your toes or to tie your shoes. You should feel a light stretch in your lower back, your butt, your hamstrings, or an engagement in those areas. And last but not least, uh, I'm gonna have you finish with five up downs just to really make sure that our heart rate is getting up. These don't have to be fast. Again, similar mechanics to the, the mountain climbers, but we're gonna jump up and jump down from that position instead. Okay, go ahead, plan a good 15 to 20 minutes for an appropriate warm up and get things started. Here we go. All right, now it's time for our strength portion. Today for the strength portion, we're gonna do three sets of five tempo deadlifts. So that's how it reads on Sugar Watt. The tempo is one, 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 one. That just means show control the entire time when you're doing this. You shouldn't be off balance. You shouldn't be falling over. It should be slow down, slow up, and a pause at the bottom and the top. That's all that one second means. Uh, today for the video, I demonstrate doing a single leg kettlebell RDL. So assuming most of us are limited on our weights and what we have at home, if you don't have a full set of barbell uh, barbell and plates, then I would recommend the, something like the following. So you could do the suitcase deadlift we did for warm-ups, or today I chose the single leg kettlebell RDL. Now really, really important here on that kettlebell RDL, you're thinking about keeping your hips square to the ground. I can't stress it enough. So if this is my hip, Oftentimes when people bend forward, that hip starts to open up, right? So what I really want you to focus on is when you start to bend forward is keeping that hip turned in or turned down. And what you're instantly gonna start to feel hip down, hip down, hip down, is you're gonna feel a lot more activation in your glute and your hamstring when you're doing this. You're gonna be like, oh, that's the right way to do it almost instantly. So. Go ahead, figure out the right variation based off of the gear you have at home. Uh, by the way, I did that on the left and the right five reps. Uh, and then start your strength portion. Plan 12 minutes for this. In that 12 minutes, I want you to include two to three warm up sets today. If you choose to do the single leg RDLs like I did, just go ahead and do a slow, weight, no weighted RDL. All right, just to get the, this movement down. Welcome back, now it's time for our workout of the day. Today you have the following. Uh, this is how it reads on Sugar Wad. We'll go back after and talk about at home possibilities. Three sets, 21 wall balls, 15 bar facing burpees, nine dead stop deadlifts, and then a two minute rest between sets. Okay, your score is each set for time or total time, right? So today, uh, what I choose is 21 air squats in place of the wall balls. 
You can easily upscale this to a goblet squat, which might be a really, really good idea considering we have the rest. Okay, uh, then, that leaves me 15 bar facing burpees. Today I just do a burpee and I hop over my kettlebell. Not facing the kettlebell, just to the side. Okay, and then I do nine kettlebell deadlifts in place of the dead stop deadlifts. All right, so go ahead, try to figure out, the, I, the reason I don't pick something like an RDL is because an RDL is a much slower variation. It's hard to rush, right? The deadlift is something we can do safely at a little bit more frequency or a little faster without risk, too much risk of injury. It's a simple movement. Where like the single leg RDL I did warm-ups, very technical, requires a lot of balance and coordination. I need to go slow. I don't really want to do those when my heart rate's way up. So today I just pick a traditional deadlift. You could widen this out. You could do a sumo deadlift. You could also do a sumo deadlift high pull. We've seen that more than several times uh, during the at-home period uh, of programming uh, and even up till recently, even back in the gym. So, so that could be a great option as well. Again, I love actually sumo deadlift high pull. If I was to go back and redo this video again, I might do that. So go ahead. Uh, make sure to observe that two-minute rest between each set today and have a fantastic at-home Saturday workout. Thank you so much for joining us today. Remember, as I mentioned earlier in the video, uh, we are going to, be, going to be going down to just one video uh, a day for your at-home workouts. Uh, you'll still see those starting Monday. I'm going to take Sunday off from doing these to get organized for the week. Thank you so much for your understanding. My recommendation for your Sunday at home workout is to get out for a one hour hike at your favorite local park, or walking trail or walking path uh, and enjoy it. You can go for a bike ride too. Do something for a minimum of an hour of movement. Okay, have a fantastic weekend. We'll see you Monday.